Hello everyone, it's Greg Cullio, West Ham Fan TV. Welcome to the big match preview. 12.30 kickoff this weekend against Manchester City at the London Stadium. Another tough fixture, another one of the big boys. We need to be switched on from the start. We saw against Spurs last time out in a free all draw. That first 20 minutes, a roller coaster ride of a game overall. But that first 20, we were very, very poor. And we cannot afford to start that way against City. I think, to be fair, if City go 3 0 up against us, we don't come back to win one. You know, the boys showed a lot of grit and determination. We just kept stuck to the plan, kept going and going, and we got our rewards in the end. And we fully deserved that point. West Ham teams over the past few years probably would have crumbled and that would have been 5 or 6 0. So, you know, it was good to see the boys still had the belief. They didn't give up, sort of never say die attitude, and we got a result. Even if it was a last minute equaliser by Lanzini, you know, what a fantastic strike. So, you know, that's going to give the lads confidence. The fact that coming from 3 0 down with only 10 minutes left to play to snatch a draw, full of confidence going into this game. But you know, as I said, City, they're no mugs. They've had not the best start of the season for their standards, let's be honest. Um, but since that shock 5 2 defeat against Leicester City, they have been unbeaten, winning the last two games 1 0 against Arsenal and 3 1 against Porto. So, you know, we have got to be very, very wary. And the stats are stats against us going into this one. Without a winning, uh, sorry, two wins in, in the last 24 matches against them, uh, lost the last 10 on the spin, the last five visits to the London Stadium has resulted in a minimum of them scoring four goals which is a big, big worry. Adding to the, that that David Moyes hasn't beaten Pep Guardiola and any time he's faced him, you know, they are odd. Well, you know, the odds are stacked fully against us. Um, when we look at the injury list that we've got, I know there was a little worry about um, Antonio. You know, we saw pictures when, when we were celebrating the equaliser with a um, massive ice pack strapped to his hamstring. He did come off in the game. He has been training, same as uh, Hilaire has also been training. So hopefully they're both fit and available for the weekend. And Tonio especially because he's key to the way we play at the moment. So we want to see both of them players back, both of them um, players fit and, and ready to give their all. Obviously Ben Rama, opportunity to make his debut. I fully expect him to start on the bench if I'm honest. I'd be very surprised if David Moyes does drop four nails. A lot of people said they didn't think he had the best of games against Spurs. I'll be honest, I thought he was all right in the first 20 minutes but what real what players really did have a decent 20 minutes in that game so I don't I don't think he'll drop four nails I think we'll see Ben Rama come off the bench um you know obviously Manuel Lanzini with that last minute equalizer against Spurs will be looking for a start as well you know he'll be pushing Yarmolenko you know I said on post-match point that Bell miss I do think was a lot down to his work rate of getting back and sort of just leaning into Bells is about to take the shot, put him off balance. So it's good to see 3 0 down that determination to get back and stop um stop Tottenham from scoring. That's what I want to see this week. City, as I said, not had the best starts compared on their their standards. And they are vulnerable at the back. Losing Fernandinho the other night, you know, he joins Mendy and Jesus out on their injury list. He is going to be a big, big loss for them. You know, over over the past probably season, season and a half, he's probably been their best centre back and he's a holding midfielder. So he's going to be a big loss. So we have to wait and see how they're going to cope without him. But as I said, they have got a wealth of talent coming forward. Um, Aki should return, De Bruyne and uh, Laporte should all be back for this game. So, you know, they have got a lot of quality players to step in when they lose a player. But I just think Fernandinho is one of them players that's quite key um, to their performances, a bit like company was, if if I'm honest, you know. But we have to wait and see going into this one. Just keep doing what we're doing. Put the decent shifts in. Put the decent performances in. Try and tighten up again at the back. And you know, who knows? We could go on to Nick Sank out of this game. But I'm not being overconfident. This is Man City, and as I said, the stats earlier on in the show it is stacked against us. But we never know. So, um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you want any of our merchandise, like this top I've got on now, um, head over to the store. The link's in the description below. If you want to sign up to a Patreon as well, the link for that is in the description, so please do so. Um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, subscribe, click the bell so you get a notification every time a uh, video goes up. And obviously, follow us all over social medias, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. One left, one thing left to say. Come on, you eyes.